A local family's dream becomes an emotional reality. And today they celebrated the grand opening of an all-inclusive playground in New Bedford, inspired by the memory of their late son. Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Woods has this story new at 5. Well, just about eight weeks after the groundbreaking ceremony at the Special Needs Playground, it's already completely finished with construction and ready to be used by children and adults of all ages. Just to see these kids play in here um, like Noah would have played. Um, but he will be here. He will be, and he is here. So um, I think, thank you, my love. It was an emotional day in New Bedford Monday morning as Team Noah officially opened their inclusive handicap accessible playground for children of all ages. And hopefully there will be a lot of happy moments here for a lot of families. Noah's Place Playground, named after Noah Fernandez, who died from a rare mitochondrial disease at just 14 years old, provides families with sick or disabled children the chance to play just like everyone else. A simple joy the Fernandez family never received because Noah was confined to a wheelchair. It is a playground that will bring smiles and laughter and joy, and it's a playground where all children can play together and do things. Making this playground much more than just a way to remember Noah. Noah's life was cut much too short, but he has inspired a whole community to do great things that will touch many lives for many lifetimes to come. Making this ribbon cutting even more special was the fact that the first children to actually use this playground were some of Noah's former schoolmates. In the control room, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.